You can think of CTrader CLI as a console version of CTrader Desktop with its functionality focused on algo trading and related features. When using console CTrader, you can launch and stop CBOTs without having access to CTrader Desktop itself. By default, CTrader CLI is installed with regular CTrader Desktop. You can access it in a number of different ways. Even if you have never worked with a command line before, you can access CTrader CLI directly from CTrader Desktop. Simply right-click on any CBOT instance found either in the Trade application or the Automate application. In the Context menu, click on Start in External Process to start that instance in CTrader CLI on the timeframe and symbol to which it is currently attached. Note that, at this point, you can freely close CTrader Desktop. Your CBOT will continue running in a separate process, allowing you to save on CPU and RAM consumption. Alternatively, open a suitable command line interface of your choice and navigate to the folder where the Trader CLI EXE file is located. After doing so, you can simply type any valid CTrader CLI command preceded by CTrader CLI.exe to execute it. For a demonstration, we will type CTrader CLI.exe periods. We should receive a list of all available chart periods. Alternatively, we can type ctraderCLI.exe followed by metadata and the path to a CBOT or an indicator installed on our machine. This path is an unnamed argument, and ctraderCLI is able to interpret it correctly. In the response, we should see important information about our CBOT such as the custom parameters it has, their types, and their names. The process for starting a CBOT is only slightly more complicated. We will once again type tradercli.exe, but this time we will follow it with the run command and the path to the algo file containing our CBOT. Then, we will specify two options, namely CDID and PWD file. In the first one, we will type the email that we use to sign into CTrader. In the second one, we will type the link to the PWD file containing the password that we use to log in under the specified email. We will also type the account option and type the number of one of our trading accounts. Finally, we will use the symbol and period options to make our CBOT run on the chart for the chosen symbol and time frame. After executing the command, your CBOT will run despite the fact that we have never opened CTrader Desktop. In the previous example, our CBOT ran using the default parameter values. But what if we had a file containing custom values that we had previously exported after conducting extensive optimization? In this case, we would need to specify the same run command and once again type the name of our CBOT. Immediately after it we would have to define the path to the CBOT set file containing our optimal values. Finally, the remaining options and arguments can be exactly the same as they were in the previous example. We execute the command, and our CBOT now runs using optimized parameter values that we had previously saved. We can also slightly change the previous example so that TraderCLI takes a new value for one custom parameter and takes the values for the remaining parameters from the CBOT set file. Remember that we can always run the metadata command to see the list of CBOT parameters, their names, and types. Once again, we will specify all options and arguments that we used in the previous example. Afterward, we can simply use the name of the parameter that we would like to change as a command option. We pass the new parameter value to this option. After executing the command, the CBOT will run using the correct parameter values. For the parameter that we explicitly defined as part of the command, the bot will use the value we typed into the command line interface. For all remaining parameters, the bot will use their values from the CBOT set file. Now we will dive into how CTrader CLI commands are structured. 
As shown previously, every command has a name that you should type immediately after ctraderCLI.exe. A command may also have several options. You can specify these options by typing two dashes, then the option name, and finally the equal sign and the option value if an option can take custom values. Alternatively, you can type just a single dash followed by a shortened option name, the equal sign, and, if possible, a custom value. It is important to remember that not every option has a shortened name or can accept custom values. You can always see the full list of commands and their options in our documentation. Last but not least, commands can also have unnamed arguments. The values of these arguments are typed as is with no additional notations. The full list of unnamed arguments supported by CTRADER CLI is available in our documentation. Before finishing this video, we would also like to give a small tip on accessing CTRADER CLI even quicker and easier. On Windows machines you can add CTRADER CLI to your path environment variable. To do so, type ENV in the Windows search bar and select Edit the system environment variables. In the newly appeared window, click on Environment Variables. In the User Variables for Username section, select Path and click on Edit. Press the New button and paste the full path to the ctraderCLI.exe file into the text field that has just appeared. Afterward, open any suitable command line interface. You can now execute ctraderCLI commands from any folder. Note that, if you choose this option, you will have to type ctraderCLI before every command rather than ctraderCLI.exe. To summarize, ctraderCLI is an essential feature for anyone who wants to expand the scope of their algorithm trading activities as it allows for managing CBOTs using any custom interface that can interact with command line instructions without the need for launching ctrader desktop itself. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about how you can supercharge your algo trading even further.